did you guys see uh Blizzard was out here uh confessing their love to Xbox? I mean, more so that they're yeah. reminding everybody that um when Xbox buys you, you are not uh into like some slave labor now where they can take a studio who's been alive for 30 years making their best work never having to fire people then they get bought they get changed from a creative studio to a studio who only makes marvel games and they have their first real layoffs in 30 years I'm talking about what sony did to insomniac okay whereas blizzard is here and they're happy they're happy campers they uh they're free as they as they like to feel right they could do whatever they want let me see i have the actual um our homie boss sean out I here boss sean. i hear up, putting everything down for us to make it easy um he says here that uh and again this is something that i forget who i don't know where he got this from video game chronicle um microsoft has let blizzard be blizzard following its acquisition studio says that's according to Holly Longdale, executive producer and vice president of World of Warcraft by Blizzard. If anything, it's just been helpful, quote unquote. She says, we got time with Helen Chang from Mojang and we were sharing information. So it's almost as if we have access to uh, what worked for them. We spoke to the Elder Scrolls Online team and shared what we're up to and what's been working. It's almost like we get a benefit. There's no one asking us to do anything, she continued. World of Warcraft is doing very well, and they're very proud of what it's been able to accomplish. So it's almost like just let it be and let it keep being awesome. They've been tremendously supportive, and it's like let Blizzard be Blizzard. Blizzard says it's still in talks about an Xbox version of World of Warcraft. So... You guys didn't see any of that, right? Because I forgot to share it, which is great. Oh, you is, thought we were looking. I thought you were looking at it. At it okay, with well, me. I'll, um, um, I'll try to keep you posted. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Look at all the so, extra steps you're taking. Yeah, yeah. so now I'll put it in there now. Actually, see it. So you can see it. You got a shout out <laughs> to homie boss Sean. Um, What's up? But yeah, I mean, listen, look, we're we're in a situation where we already know, you know, Xbox is mo. Right. People love being acquired by Xbox because Xbox got the pockets and they give a shit about the devs. Right. Very dev first, um, you know, company. They want to make sure. I like that last bullet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Xbox Absolutely. version of World of Warcraft. Yes, it's coming, bro. I mean, yeah, they had they had sure. mentioned it, but they're still going. I don't know. Have you guys ever have you guys ever played World of Warcraft? Um, I did for a little bit way back when it started. Um, and then I just yeah. kind of got bored of it and went on. <laughs> so that's, that's but, kind of have to like th that's the best way to play. Like, okay, I'm done yeah. with it. A lot of people hate play, which I don't yeah. understand. And and then they've had so much content, and I just never went back to it. To be fair, I just like I went on to other games. But um, if it does, like, I, I suppose I could always try to go back into it. There's apparently this massive expansion coming with uh, with the original creator of a lot of the content, right? So uh there's a lot of buzz about that so uh, it'll be interesting to see what that does and uh i, I hope people don't like overlook the fact that this is going to be one of their big things this year it's going mm -hmm. to be at the show showcase very likely right it's going to mm -hmm. show up um you know and they're going to get a lot of players out of this probably a lot of money out of this so uh but it is a pc game and you just have to kind of accept that microsoft is now like everywhere it's mobile pc and uh, you know, console, and there are going to be games that are kind of PC focused. Blizzard is one of those big PC developers, right? Uh, and that was one of the major reasons to get uh, ABK. Um, so I don't know what they do with the mobile side of it. That's a whole other, like, I don't know how mobile ever really uh, markets. It's not really part of our norm, right? We usually see console stuff, some PC stuff. Um, but I don't know what they do with King and how that markets, but it doesn't really matter that they, they keep making money. Uh, but this is going to be a focus for them going forward. Yeah, this is great news, though, as far as like the, the it's the usual, right? That they stay hands off, but they have to tweak that formula a little bit, right? Just in mm -hmm. case like there's problems, you need to kind of go in and help them, um, right? So because we've had a few of those uh, problem child studios, 343, anyone, uh, but let, that happen to have problems and they need to get fixed, um, you know, and, and 
to be fair, Undead Labs, right? The main creator of that studio left after being acquired uh, and they needed help. They just didn't have a lot of you know people to begin with. So they needed help to kind of grow. Um, so that's fine. You know, go in and help them. Uh, you know, hopefully they don't have to do that again with Arcane. That was quite a disaster with stupid Redfall, but um, we'll see but yeah. what they produce next, bro. Yeah. So, and again, it's just like the, the dual part of this, right? Is like, do you uh, go into each studio and tell them what to do? Or do you let them go do what they want to do? And then just, you know, like check in. No, oh, that doesn't look right. Maybe you need to go like change some things, which they, by the way, let's to be fair, they, they did that with Todd, right? They said, no, I'm not going to release this game in this shape. Sorry. That, that might've worked with, with uh, Bethesda before that's not going to work with us. So we're going to give you more time. Yes. It's going to suck. Yeah, we're going to get egg on our face. Don't care. <laughs> Go take the extra year. Make it the way it should be before we put this out there. Uh, so, you know, and it was the least buggy of their uh, releases, like, in their history, right? So uh, Agreed. That, that's the kind of thing they, they're they going to have to continue to do. That's, you know, they've learned their lesson, of, you know, or a few bad cases, right? So, uh, but this is good, right? And, uh, you know, Blizzard's been usually pretty good, right? So hopefully it'll, it'll continue to be a pretty good studio and, put out quality stuff uh, i think blizzard went downhill a lot uh, once they got merged with activision um i don't know why what the specific things are but uh maybe it's bobby kotick maybe it isn't i don't know what it was but it certainly did not keep up to the way it was before well, th well they got uh, put into so a they got they got put into a, a a wheel right like they became a cog in a wheel that needed to run. just like everything bobby did right <laughs> Yeah, like, exactly. Where's so the they max went, money I can make? That's what exactly. we're doing. I don't care what you want to do. That's what we're gonna like, do. Like, like okay, as well, it is uh, right now, <laughs> they they're going to now be Blizzard. You know, like Blizzard yeah. is yeah. Blizzard again, not yep. a part of Activision, right? Even though yeah, they're we'll still see how branching this goes, off. You know? <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I have I have high hopes. I think hopefully gonna, it's a massive revival for that. Stuff. You know, for that studio, and it goes back to its former glory. Uh, that'd be awesome, and we'll see what else they come up with. Um, and same for all the other studios, by the way. I, I'm assuming this would be pretty much parallel if we talk to, you know, the many Activision studios as well, High Moon or Raven or whatever. Like, hey, you know, we're getting to do the stuff we want to do, right? Like, we'll, we'll see what they say, right? Uh, you know, one of them schismed off and like said, I, I, we're kind of done with this whole thing because we got sucked, you know, sucked into making Call of Duty, and uh, we, we don't want to do that anymore. So we want to become independent. Okay, fine. And Phil worked out with them and said, okay, go ahead. But we'll still contract with you to make our games. That's awesome, right? Go ahead. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Like, I, I hope that's the case for all of these studios. But yeah, this is great news, right? That's what you want to hear, right? Not Absolutely. what we're seeing with the Marvel studio now. <laughs> it's like, you had your own that's games, right? I guess they're not going to be made anymore. <laughs> well, th that's the thing, right? Like, that's when I saw, like, when you see this, and you you hear about them going ahead and like being able to be free is just a reminder that this is yeah. how Xbox does things. Whereas on the other side, it's it's painful to see Insomniac be deteriorated, right? Like turned yeah. into just a regular, you know, this is the games you make. That's it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it's not like a it's not like three four three, right? Who's made. Right. Or Halo, right? So it's like if you want to make Halo, you come work here. If you yeah. don't want to make Halo, get the fuck out, right? Same thing with Gears and Coalition, right? Even though they might yep. be branching off from it, still, you go in knowing what you're signing up for. Insomniac, that's not what they signed up for, right? Like, yeah, they were creative. Going going back to um, Blizzard, <laughs> Devilflow. What do you think? What do you think about um, like? Is this is this a, a reflection of how? different xbox and playstation are how we heard all the stories about playstation panicking right they're panicking and they need to uh, everybody's making a, a live service game everybody every studio i don't care what it is live service live service and then that started to wane and it's like oh shit well cancel all these live service games <laughs> you're canceled you're canceled right it's like, like meanwhile over on xbox side it's just like yeah, we got more people, more games. You know, they're working on their thing. They're doing their thing. We're not forcing anybody. Yeah, we got Banjo-Kazooie over here, but we're not going to force anybody to make it. If they want to, they can, right? Like, it's a whole different world. I mean, what do you kind of feel? Well, number one, what do you feel about the difference between what Xbox and Sony, how they handle this? And, you know, do you how do you feel about how Xbox handles their dormant IP because they don't 
push you know the developers to make them all right so first off we gotta understand that xbox has a lot of ip so they can take the time they have the luxury to just say like we're not gonna work on this we're gonna work on that and they also have the luxury of having a, a bunch of people who are super creative and specifically a blizzard that they can do whatever they want and they, they, they will rock it like look at the work world of warcraft that's been going on for decades bro and a lot of people are still playing that you know, and a lot of people right now are getting into it. So they literally letting Blizzard, like the guy said over there, they letting them be themselves. You know, they're very creative and they should have all the support from Xbox. And I and I believe that Sony PlayStation, what what happening with them is that they don't really understand where gaming is going. They have a they they they, they thinking of gaming as movies. All right, they think they're not thinking of me, or games have a place that you go and have fun in social places. You know, they're thinking of it more like movies. How we we bring you a story that feels real or that it looks cool, that they have all these uh, colors so that I, we can hypnotize our fan base into thinking that these are good games. But in reality, these are good movies, good stories. But then the, the gameplay elements that have World of Warcraft that thing that xbox game has that they keep you hooked for years like co thief how do you how do you feel about the ip situation you know where they have these ip do you feel like you like you prefer the idea that they just let them choose what they're making or do you think xbox needs to uh try to force people <laughs> force these deaths bro I think Xbox could be strategic when it comes to like what franchises to work on. And, I, and I'm going to say right here, right now, what's hot right now and what's tangible to success right now is Fallout. So they need to capitalize on Fallout right now that is hot and announce, even if it's just like a teaser trailer, Fallout 5 at the June show. They need to do that to continue the hype because people work, you know, they need that, that psychology on them. You know, they need the, 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 the you know, when you're playing girl, uh, games with a girl and you're like, you know, mommy, I'm going to call you and you don't, you don't call her and you act hard and shit like that. You need, the Xbox need to be like that. You need to teach you <laughs> like Fallout 5 coming. Oh my God, when? 2027 or whatever. It's like three years, but it's already being announced. So it gives people hope. It'd be like, damn, maybe by the time that season three comes out, I can like, you know what, tie it up with the game or whatever. So I think that'll be great, man. Yeah. They need to go ahead and capitalize. 